OK, we are continuing our Football Club History series and we are staying in Switzerland. We're going to the Italian-speaking uh, region of Switzerland and we're looking at FC Lugano, uh, one of the lesser-known clubs of Swiss football. They play at the Stadio Cornerado, uh, which only has a capacity of 6,330. So it's one of the smallest stadiums we have come across in the Swiss league so far. The club itself is initially founded in 1908, uh, but then they have some money problems in 2003. The club goes bankrupt, so... They're technically refounded, but the club stays the same. But they have to go through a refoundation process and a refinancing process in 2004. There, they have a merger with Mal uh, Cantoni Agno, uh, and they are reborn as AC Lugano in 2004. And then the club shareholders and president renamed the club FC Lugano in 2008. But they've basically been the same club the entire time. Uh, very interesting talking about. Uh, the bankruptcy in 2003. Uh, we've already seen with a couple of other um, uh, clubs uh, having financial problems at the same time. FC Arrow in the previous video, for example, in exactly the same year, narrowly avoided bankruptcy by selling club shares. So the early 2000s in Swiss football, there were money liquidity issues. Uh, now, I think a few other clubs across Europe were having money problems at the time in the early 2000s. There was a knock-on impact of bigger clubs struggling, uh, and it ultimately impacted FC Lugano at that point. Uh, they've had multiple spells in the uh, Swiss top flight. Uh, their first spell was in the 22-53 to 53 period. Uh, they drop out. Uh, they're back in the 54-60 to 60 period. They drop out. Back in again in 61-63. to 63. They drop back down. 64 to 76, they drop back down, 79 to 80, they drop back down, 88 to 97, they drop back down, 98 to 2002, they drop back down, then the bankruptcy happens and all the restructuring of the club and they bounce back up to the top flight uh, in 2015 where they've stayed ever since. So they're a little bit of a yo-yo club at periods in their history. They have short spells in the top flight and then drop down to the Challenge League, which is the second tier, then they bounce back up drop back down, bounce back up. So it's very, very interesting. But their longest spells uh, in the top flight have resulted in silverware. Uh, all their silverware is through their longest spells back in the top flight. Uh, but let's have a quick look at what's going on. So the 2003, obviously, uh, they declare bankruptcy. Uh, 2004 is the merger with Mal, uh, Mal Cantone Agno. And the club is renamed AC Lugano, which helps the club survive. They were fielding under-21s at this point. All their senior players had to be sold to keep the club, well, get the club solvent again. And in 2008, the club was renamed FC Lugano. They have won honours. They won the Swiss League three times and the Swiss Cup four times. Very, very interesting. Uh, their most successful period is their first period in the top flight between 1922 and 1953. They win four trophies out of uh, all the trophies they've won in that period. There are other periods in their history where they've had some decent success, like the 60s and the 90s, and they've won a trophy quite recently, uh, only in 2022. So since they've been back in the top flight and, and come out of bankruptcy, they've won silverware, which is a good sign that things are going on the right track for this club going forward. So let's have a look at their Swiss Super League titles. They've won three of them, uh, all in the th in the first period. They're in the top flight between 1922 and 1953. So that's a very successful spell for the club. They first win their first silverware in the Swiss League in the 1937-38 season. A couple of seasons later, they win again in the 1940-41 season. And they win their fi third and final league title in the 48-49 season. So those three league titles come in uh, the the first spell they're in the top flight between 1922 and 1953. That's a very successful period for the club. Swiss Cup, they're more scattered around uh, every few decades they win a Swiss Cup. So they win their first Swiss Cup again in that very dominant spell between 1922 and 1953 in the 1930-31 season. They have to wait until uh, the late 60s to win their second in the 67-68 season in their spell in the top flight between 1964 and 1976. And then they have to wait again until their, uh, another another lengthy spell in the top flight between 88 and 97 to win their third uh, Swiss Cup in the 92-93 season. And it's it's after this they have their bankruptcy in 2003 and have to you know, refinance the club, merge the club with a, 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 another club in, in the uh, area uh, and get back up and, and refinance themselves. So it's a bit of a wait until their most recent trophy, um, which is in 2021-2022, when they win their fourth and most recent Swiss Cup. And that is in their most recent spell in the top flight since 2015.
So FC Lugano are the only team from the Italian speaking uh, area of Switzerland in the Swiss Super League top flight. Most of the other teams are to the north, northwest and, and just generally the north central parts of Switzerland. So their away days are a bit of a distance. And when they're the home team, the away team has to travel a bit of a distance across the mountains to get to uh, to their little stadium in Lugano. Uh, but they've, been, they've had some reasonable success. I mean, they are a bit of a yo-yo club. If you look at their history, they've had spells outside the top flight. Uh, but it's very interesting that 2003 bankruptcy, the previous Swiss club we looked at, FC Arau, had a similar financial situation uh, in the same year where they had to sell shares in the club to refinance it. And I believe, is it Servette is another one? Uh, that had some money issues uh, and struggled financially. So several Swiss clubs at the beginning of the 2000s were facing financial issues, much like FC Lugano. I'm going to have to have a look at, at more Swiss clubs to see if there was a wider trend uh, in, in the game at the time, in the league at the time. But we've now come across several Swiss clubs all having financial problems in the early 2000s, just over 20 years ago. Um, we obviously know that like Leeds United over in England were struggling financially at the time as well. So this is not just a Swiss problem, but it's very, very striking that they're all happening at the same time. There was clearly a cash liquidity issue in the Swiss game at the time. That may have been exacerbated by other clubs across Europe having money issues. It comes down to the transfer market and, and uh, player payments and player contracts. And when money's tight in a, at a bigger club, it can have a knock-on impact. Uh, so we're going to have to look at uh, uh, some more Swiss clubs to see what was actually happening at the time. Uh, but there we go, there's a brief history of FC Lugano. Uh, they're currently in the Swiss top flight and they currently have uh, seven trophies in their trophy cabinet. It's not, not bad for a small club in a small regional town um, in Switzerland, in, in far, far to the south of Switzerland, nowhere near to the other major clubs in the Swiss top flight. They're a little bit on their own in the Italian speaking area they're not the only Italian speaking club in Switzerland there are other clubs in the in the canton around them but they're not in the top flight so it's very interesting they managed to get seven trophies they have been a bit of a yo-yo club but as I say there we go thank you very much for watching place your thoughts in the comments section uh, below we'll have some more content for you guys very very soon